Buddhism uh, or coming here? Yeah. Um, well, I'm here to do two things. First thing was uh, to participate in a screening and a concert on Sunday, which is with a filmmaker named Luke Fowler. And I had done the sound design for a new film that he has just finished about the Canadian electroacoustic composer Martin Bartlett. And then so in addition to presenting that film, we're also doing a quadraphonic concert together where we're going to present material that we've selected and re-edited from Martin Bartlett's archives, so from his tapes, his electronic sounds and electroacoustic sounds. We're going to do a concert of those on Sunday. And then in addition, I was asked to do a workshop. And uh, so I'm presenting this workshop or participating in this workshop uh, with a great group of people um, uh, on the topic of taking the, taking the subject of the festival, the noise of being, and trying to think about the noise of being through this angle of sonic ethnography. And uh, what, what do you think about the people at your workshop? How do they kind of reflect uh -huh. on the topic? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a great group of people. They're coming from lots of different backgrounds. Some uh, more background with art, some have more of a background with, uh, well, some have more of a background with, yeah, some have more of a background with art, some with video, um, sound art, um, science, I mean, very different kinds of backgrounds and um, different experience levels. You know, so some are recording for the first time, editing sound for the first time, some have been doing it for decades. Um, so that's really fun. They've been having good conversations with each other and it's been fun to participate with that. And uh, what role does the um, noise uh, play in your life? What noise is for you? Uh, what role does noise play in my life? Yeah, noise. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, we're constantly in, in noise. Um, boy, how to answer a question like that? Yeah. Um, And just then, as I'm thinking about how to answer it, the, the noise from outside quiets down as if to give me a chance to think about how to answer this. Um, yeah, for some reason, I've always been sort of fascinated or distracted by uh, noises and sounds and trying to understand why that's such a, such a prominent part of, of, of experience, of my experience, of everyone's experience. Um, and what role sounds play in our making sense of the world and our experience of hearing and of moving through the world and of experiencing time is all, uh, time and sound and listening and noise are all part of the same developing now. I don't know how to, s how to say anything about that actually. <laughs> but that's cool, I mean, it's not, there's no correct question to no. answer me. No, that's it's true. It's just the yeah. thoughts, because that's yeah. interesting that you mentioned while thinking or at least taking a break, there is still sound around mm -hmm. you and you, it's something that make you think, oh, it's kind of meditation mm -hmm. conditions that mm -hmm. also can be something right. like that. Yeah. So if, you know, if, as you know, John Cage said, there's no such thing as silence, then maybe there's only such a thing as noise. Maybe noise is all there is. Noise can be as a uh, part of the silence as well. I mean, yeah, because that's silence true. it is. <laughs> is there no such thing as, maybe there's no such thing as noise either. I don't know. That, that, that's cool. But anyway, it's some kind of philosophical thoughts. Maybe, mm, do, do you have any expectations or do you know already what is going to be the result of the workshop, uh, which was these two days? Yeah, so this was a two-day workshop, uh, which is relatively short time. So yesterday we were listening to things, talking about things, I'm talking about this idea of sonic ethnography, which is sort of a proposal. It's not really a thing. It's a, it's a proposal for a way of thinking about engaging with, um, engaging with a situation, um, engaging with a situation while listening, while making recordings, while listening back to recordings. So it's all about relationships between things and exploring those relationships in sound and through sound. 
And then yesterday we went out and recorded. Some people went different directions and we recorded in different places. There was a small group that went together to, to one place. And so today what we're doing is listening to selections that people have made from the recordings that they made yesterday and talking about the sort of difference between what people were hearing and experiencing while in the site and what they're hearing now that we're in a different site and re-listening to these representations of the place through sound. And as a group, we're making selections and composing several different pieces with those. And it's a bit of a, you know, it's a bit of a study. You know, it's, we have a short period of time here, so we're not able to make a polished final piece. Um, but we're coming up with some interesting, uh, coming up with some interesting ideas of ways to put different sounds together and different to combine aspects of sonic experience from different environments into a single piece. 